Hi everybody, in this video we are going to take the Sumo simulations that we have created using Sumo and put them in our Veins iNet simulation. So first, before we just jump right into uh, modifying our Veins iNet project, let's understand what is going on under the hood. I have our Vanit tutorial project right here. And this is the Veins iNet subfolder. This comes from the Veins iNet sub project from the Veins project. So within the Veins iNet sub project, we have an Omnet VP INI file. This is our configuration for our simulation. And if you see in here, we have our node, which is the type name, which this is doing the application. So our node is actually our vehicle, and then it's application that it's running is the inet sample application then we have the setup for our wireless lan interface and then after that we have our veins inet mobility this is setting the mobility of our vehicle to use the veins inet mobility that's applied within our source folder that was given to us in the veins sub project then we have the Veins iNet Manager. This is setting up the manager with intervals where it updates what host it's using, which is gonna be our local host and our port. This is how it actually connects to Sumo. So port 9999, that's what Sumo is listening to and we actually connect there and the manager is talking to our Sumo tool. And within that, we have set our launch config with the square.launchd XML and then our model type. So what we are going to be making a change to is the launch configuration. So let's look at the square launch D XML. So if you look at the square launch D XML, you will see that we have the a launch tag. And then within that, we have a copy file for our net file our root file, a poly file, which we have not created yet, and a sumo config file, which all these files we've created aside from the poly file. And we're not going to worry about the poly file when we're doing this tutorial. So let's make a new simulation that's going to use the sumo sim that we created in the last tutorial video. So I'm going to make a new folder and I'm going to call this Veins INET Custom because it's our custom map. So this doesn't have anything in it. It's an empty folder. Let's copy our Veins INET simulation and put it right here. So we're going to have a few changes. We need to update our scenario to uh, use the new package path. So we're going to go to our source. I'm going to change this to veins inet underscore custom. So now our path is fine. Now let's go to our Omnet VP INI file. We had a custom sumo file and what I used was downtown Orlando. So what I'm going to put in here is downtown Orlando. So I'm going to make a launch D file that's going to be called downtown. And actually I'm going to take this launch D that I copied and rename it to be downtown. So let's go in here and let's now move over our downtown net root and sumo config. So this is the resulting downtown simulation that we created from our earlier tutorial video. So we're gonna copy the downtown.net root and sumo.config. We're going to put them in this folder. We do not need any of these squares, so I'm going to delete them. So now we need to rename the squares to be downtown. So downtown.net room. We do not have a poly file. This holds uh, the poly structure for all the shadowing and obstacles. And this is something that you may want to create later on, but we're sticking with a more simple tutorial right now. So we do not need this. So we're going to delete this. And then we have our downtown sumo dot 
CFG. And let's save this. Now we can just run this simulation right now. So if we right click our Omnet PP INI file and we run as an Omnet simulation, we'll begin launching. Before we hit run, we need to make sure that we also start up Sumo. So let's start up Sumo. So I'm gonna start up Sumo here. And now Sumo is listening on port 9999. And we're going to hit run. So we start running our simulation. We are going to see, zoom out a bit so we can see our vehicles running up. This is our simulation and our vehicles are running on our map. So now we are running the custom sumo simulation that we created in our last video using veins. Now remember, this is doing a random route that we just created for a quick simulation. If you want it to have it follow a specific path, you would need to code those things in. So congratulations, you just learned how to take a custom sumo simulation and put it into Omnet++. If you liked what you saw, please remember to subscribe to my channel. And also, if you have any questions about veins, INET, or the Vanet tutorials that I have putting, putting on YouTube, please join us on our Discord channel so that I can help you with anything that you need or make tutorial requests for something that you would like to learn in the future. Thank you and happy researching.